carking a horse means uh, holding them to the ground with steel studs when the ground is slippery. Here at Spruce Meadows we're on turf, and turf can be slippery depending if it's too hard and dry or if it's too wet. Of course we use range from all various sizes and shapes. Back in the, in the day when Spruce Meadows footing wasn't quite as good as it is, today, many things, uh, as you know, improve with age, we had to go to some very big corks. This would be one example. We used to call this a bullet. And this is the part that screws into the, the shoe, and this is the part that sticks down into the ground. So you can see the purchase we'd get with that. Now, over the years, the ground has been greatly improved. A great deal of sand has been injected into the footing, and when it's, when it's dry, it's not nearly as hard because of the sand component, and when it's wet, it's not nearly as slippery. So, <clears throat> really what we use now, this is a hind cork on the outside of the hind shoe. This, we call that a large. We call this a medium. That would be, there's an inside hole, and then there's a third hole that takes a small. And if it were particularly wet, and the ground was really givey, we'd go to a more square cork like this, to give a little more purchase. <coughs> Generally speaking, in front, you want a little bit less, because what a cork, you don't want to, the horse's feet do stop the travel. They have to have a little bit of travel. Same thing of these athletes on, on uh, AstroTurf. They hurt their hips, their ankles, their hips. You do the same thing with a horse if you walk his foot to the ground. It's got to slide, it's got to travel, you can't slip.